in art uh, because the Maidan gave uh, start to many new interesting art projects and we'll be talking to three artists and they will tell about their pieces of uh, art. Uh, Matvey Weisberg with the project wall, Mikola Gancharov, who will present the series of posters, the war, Gennady Gutsgar, the project Sparks of Holiness, and uh, Alexei Belusenko, exhibition diary, one extremist. Good afternoon. I will first uh, tell a few words, uh, uh, general words, and then uh, the resume, but then uh, uh, we will all present our art projects which are related to Maidan. And the first I would like to mention uh, is uh, uh, that a year passed after the revolution of dignity, uh, then there will be the Heavenly Hundred, but a year ago the revolution started as a cultural and art project because mostly young people were the participants and those who are older, I believe they got younger. Do you have such a feeling? Uh, we uh, did not believe then that someone is taking the European future from us and we were protesting by the literature, poetry, music. At that time we were all getting older. Also, you see the young people started but everyone got older. And there was a first understanding that we would like to decide what our future will be. And that happened then. And the process to movement to adult state was quite painful. Even now, we don't have one uh, uh, understanding of what we want to become. But we started thinking seriously, starting from that moment about that. And the same painful process uh, was passed by Ukrainian art, and we'll talk about that today. And it got uh, uh, older and different now. I would like somehow to say uh, something, but this is uh, basically a question, and I believe you will agree to me, maybe not. I do believe that you will agree to that. The post my done art. Uh, there's no post Maidan art. There's a new art which was born by Maidan. The public, the audience uh, that we're used to, that's people. And they started thinking independently. That's our audience now. And they started to select what is valuable. We now have new, deeper criteria. And uh, uh, there is a need, a new form, a new harmony. And the time of copying, of interpretation, is in the past. Uh, the main benchmark and critic uh, is Ukrainian, because the art was always reflecting the soul of the nation. We know that that's not just the embroidered shirts and uh, some decorations, but that's the source of inspiration for us, for artists. And what we can... Uh, offer to our audience. We will uh, talk about that now. First, Matvey, uh, Matvey Weisberg. And good afternoon. Myself, as most people, I went to Maidan, not as an artist. I went to Maidan as a citizen. I did not even think that that could be then embodied into some new project, as people call it now, or some artifacts. Several months later, uh, after several months uh, of being at Maidan, after getting all these impressions, I realized that it's time, and uh, I've uh, uh, done the series which is called The Wall. I had uh, The Wall. I've started uh, it on the 20th, from the 27th of uh, uh, January to the 8th of uh, March. I started uh, doing it when uh, uh, the situation was more or less quiet at Maidan. It has 28 works. The first one that I did and I reacted quite uh, um, actively, I was fighting there 
uh, maybe from his side it was uh, awful to see that, but that was just myself who saw it. And uh, my next works, uh, or the destiny of that project is quite strange for me, because when I was painting it, I found some, uh, 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 according to the laws of the 16th of uh, January, uh, what I was uh, uh, painting would uh, fall under the category of the crime. But uh, after that, uh, uh, this exhibition, uh, this piece of art was uh, in the uh, in Europe, in London, in Euro Commission, and that was part of the project uh, headed by Fama. Uh, Famenka, and now uh, uh, we um, uh, I present the continuation of the wall in New York. There's a wonderful uh, uh, exhibition together with the Gergedai, Sasha Dinduk, and uh, another photograph. Uh, and I am the only one there who's the painter with different artifacts, uh, including the bricks that we. Uh, took uh, to uh, the um, museum mile and uh, exhibited it uh, in New York at the museum mile in one of the museums there. And this project will continue. I hope it will be expanded. Maidan Ukraina, the way to freedom. I hope that I will involve more of my friends to it. As to now, what Gena was talking about, I agree that that's uh, the birth of a new art, because I believe that during this year we have changed uh, at the level of molec molecules. Uh, we are different. We are better, I believe. We are different. Sometimes I look at my works, which are year old, and I believe that was in some different life. That's all I wanted to share with you. And let's listen to Mikola Gencherov, series of posts as the war. I would like to say a few words about myself. I am the graphic, uh, um, and I studied at the Academy of Arts, and I started making posters uh, about three years ago. And I... Um, I was uh, trying to decorate my life. I was uh, painting beautiful pictures about life, love, about war. Unfortunately, the first picture I uh, drew was uh, this winter. The first poster was when I painted not uh, uh, flowers, I mean, well, but I uh, painted the uh, flag uh, which uh, uh, had uh, the word off and the letter O was made of the stars of European Union. And then basically that was the beginning of the project. How many posters I paint every day. You can imagine that there are several hundreds of them. Do you Paint. Who, who, who sees that? I participated in all local competitions of uh, the posters, stop censorship including, and of course I received the prize because I had so many of them and you do continue. Every day you make a poster. Yes, I wanted to finish as uh, soon as possible and to publish a book which will be called uh, War. Unfortunately, without peace, but I want the peace to come sooner. We'll ask more questions. Let's listen about Gennady Gutsgard's project, Sparks of Holiness. Again, good afternoon. My project, uh, The Sparks of Holiness, I started uh, making it the first days after my done in the beginning of March. Uh, it was quite intuitive. I've wor been working at the verge of uh, painting and performance, and uh, that's what uh, we had here. The first days after my done, I was impressed by the river of uh, 
uh, people, those who were coming here, and they were impressed by what, by what had happened, uh, by that heroic event, and they were bringing flowers. And just remember, after this fire, you know, what was the feeling? Uh, it was very cold. Uh, there was still snow and ashes and many bright flowers. And there were more and more flowers there. And intuitively, I felt that I have to reflect it somehow. But how, in what form, in what scale, I did not know. And uh, then um, the, I uh, managed to implement this project. There were 100 uh, bright red uh, uh, paints uh, on uh, the building of the House of Trade Unions. I was conducting the group of professional alpinists, uh, mountaineers, as uh, a conductor. And we together did it. And there are several layers to that. One is that uh, that was a call of a person to all think and think, think every minute about your actions, about your words, about your feelings. And uh, we are now. Uh, living in the time and in the space when we have new images. Uh, uh, the hundred is perceived, this figure, the hundred is perceived differently. This hundred uh, uh, red uh, dots, it's like a code now. No one has to explain it now. They are not really red. Uh, uh, were they uh, uh, specially made pink? How did you select the color? Uh, I selected the color in such a way. I uh, first uh, um, consulted with the person who I uh, value a lot, Mark Belarusitz. Uh, he's an interpreter a very interesting person, and he told me that pay attention that red is not just the color of death, but the color of life. And I immediately realized which should be the color, and this shade was selected after that uh, phrase of Mark. And secondly, I wanted uh, to um, people to think of paintball. That's uh, a game when uh, people are taught how to easily perceive the death. Uh, but uh, uh, death and life are very serious things, and people have to think about that. And that's what I wanted to say by that project. And at that time, it got integrated into the general situation. People who in March uh, lived in Maidan, these are quite specific people. They uh, would not stand uh, anything false. And they were asking questions. I was uh, doing it for several days. And they were saying, what does that mean? And I was saying that we are going to Europe. And Maidan started because we wanted uh, to continue going there. And uh, now we need. Uh, uh, to present it in the form which will be understandable for the whole world. And most of these people, common people who are far from arts, they would agree with me. And I'm happy that I managed to implement that project at that time. Many people saw it. Thank you. Now the House of Trade Unions is uh, in, at the stage of reconstruction. Do you believe that it's like the closure of your project, or will it be transferred to some other space? Uh, will you make some maybe um, uh, exhibitions of uh, photographs? It was uh, for that time, because uh, next to the trade union house, I, I liked, but I can imagine what people could feel when that was happening. There was this. Uh, lamppost which was burnt and some other artifacts. 
but basically the evidence of big uh, tragedy and it was all in one context and it's not there and there's no problem with uh, the fact that the project is over. I was planning it. I was warned that in about a week or two weeks uh, they will put these banners, but they were put only before the inauguration. So almost three months, uh, Kievites and the whole world uh, saw that. They were saying that I created the uh, business card for myself with the on in the place which has the biggest traffic in the world. And people were saying I'm not sincere because I put my signature, but I said, but uh, doesn't the artist have the right to sign? I put it on uh, uh, this tower with the watch. Now everything's closed, but the signature is still there. And uh, the main thing is to work uh, and to continue this work. Times are different, needs are different. I don't say that we don't need that. We need something new. Okay, we'll talk about that. Let's listen to Alexey Bilisenko, who is the author of the Diary of One Extremist. And he, we are talking about what has happened already. He will announce his project. Alexey Bilisenko, a artist, a Kievan a citizen. Yes, Hena has very aptly noted that their project have happened already and uh, the anniversary will be on the first my, my project will be launched on the first of december i have uh, selected this date because this was the day when i and my friends have actively joined the protest before that i was only twice on the Maidan, but when they beat the students, I understood that this is my case, that I have to be there all the time. And I and Matvi and uh, other friends of mine have uh, gone to Maidan very often. As Kievans who live next to Maidan, it was easy for us to do this, and when there was a need for help, there was a need for mass of people, as we are not great fighters. Well, when there was a need, we were all the time in Maidan. Once we did not go there because we were really scared, uh, because the Hyatt Sucks were hunting people there, so it was very hard to go there. And Matvi was right in saying that he went there not as an artist, when he started to paint his series, I thought, well, look, Matvi probably is an artist and I not, because he can paint this and I cannot. But then the time came when everything sort of calmed down and I understood that I can talk about this. It is hard for me even now to talk with words because all the events have impressed me greatly and those impressions have uh, ruined my sleep and uh, they have influenced my nervous state. When I started to paint these canvases, I felt some sort of relaxation. I uh, tried to avoid formal tasks in my paintings. For me as an artist, faces of people were most interesting. I did not paint faces, however, but the moments that I remembered very clearly were very important for me. Those poses, those people were very important. I have painted them literally. Uh, why this is called the diary of one extremi extremist? Are you the extremist? Well, if you were in Maidan at the time when people went out to demonstrate against the laws and many people went out in saucepans on uh, their heads in masks, they were taking Mikey of those laws. And I saw a very pretty girl who was there in a white builder's hat 
hard head and uh, there was an inscription I am an extremist so I understood that we all are extremists and uh, the diary is because I was painting this every day you know this project is still breathing within me uh, I am satisfied with some of the works and not satisfied with some of them I have changed during the project I was doing it for uh, almost three months so some of the works that I created in the beginning are different from some that I created by the end of the project and they are different in uh, the way I painted that them I understood what should be and what should not be in the works of course not all the days that we spent in Maidan were stormers and uh, bright uh, there were also very calm days where there were almost no people in Maidan but some days uh, and you know there's a very interesting title for the work it's just the, the date the time and the place, for instance, the 12th of uh, 2013, 8.04 p.m., Hrushevsky Street, where we can see your works from the 1st of December, and for me it is very important, as well as the site, because I consider Maidan to be the history of Kiev, so the place or the site for this project is the Museum of Kyiv History and it will run there from the 1st to the 13th of uh, December. And, uh, it will be the anniversary since we all joined the protest. Thank you very much and your closing remarks. <coughs> okay, see everything changes and uh, it changes in quantity and quality However, this still has some other meanings and influences when we talk about art after Maidan. While a poet is writing about er eroticism and uh, the beauty of a woman and the singer sings about love and the conceptualist builds the highest tree from children's balloons, those who take the lead can uh, sleep calmly but when we see something more cruel as soon as the colors become darker and the word becomes sharper then you have to pack your suitcases and the uh, artists get the signals and we saw how in resonance with the events how simultaneously we started to create and the art became a warning a harbinger of the titanic changes in the awareness of the people this is uh, the main thing that we wanted to say uh, today today we talked about conceptual painting but i want to add that artists in other genres have worked as well they have uh, made some masterpieces of their work and I hope that we will be able to invite here authors who worked in video art and produced masterpieces people who work with texts and music and this is going to be very interesting during this month to show how qualitatively the art has changed in other genres as well thank you very much we will invite them of course, because our project is going on until the 23rd of November, we will invite your colleagues in Ukraine and uh, abroad. Is there a demand for the art of Maidan? I mean the demand from society, from the state, state from com commercial investors. I'd like to l l hear all your thoughts. Uh, well... Uh, there's no commercial demand because we are not selling. That's the position of principle. How can we sell it? Uh, there's uh, interest. Yes, definitely there is interest. Because the exhibition in London, 
there was a big uh, queue of people, but we as representatives of Maidan, we were allowed to uh, exhibit without uh, waiting. Uh, the same is uh, uh, tr true when talking about the Ukrainian Institute, and we believe that all our exhibitions abroad are our arguments. There's no secret that Putin's propaganda is uh, very powerful. They invest a lot of money and time into that, and I believe that this is our format of work. But is there any demand from the state? Uh, you know, the, it's more like uh, different uh, civil uh, organizations. The state also helps. That's strange, because I've never dealt with the state. That was my position. But now, you know, it's like Mayakovsky was saying uh, about our wagons and our way uh, and so on. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is helping us. They, they do help. They do help. The state does help. I believe that uh, we ourselves and uh, the uh, different organizations help us. Are you planning to organize another exhibition, this series of uh, exhibitions, Maidan Ukraine, The Way to Freedom? It's still there in the Ukrainian Institute in New York. and. Uh, we plan, uh, uh, we basically, we do not know when exactly and where, but it will be traveling all over America. But the wall itself, the project wall, we are planning to, uh, I'm planning to exhibit it in the future. Are you planning also to exhibit? I can talk about how popular my works are. Uh, it's uh, demonstrated uh, by number of shares in uh, internet and uh, in uh, different um, internet shops. They are now selling the T-shirts with some of the slogans, my slogans. But unfortunately, they do not uh, mention my name. So the uh, uh, Intellectual property rights are not uh, uh, observed, but I believe that just recognition by people. You are pleased when you see someone with the uh, phone and the case for the phone with your um, poster. You are happy. Uh, uh, that is just. This will be just my first exhibition, and I do plan to continue uh, the exhibitions. I was thinking about some uh, about touring Ukrainian cities. I don't have any ideas, but I do have a plan. Any other questions? Then uh, another question from me. Uh, the anniversary of Maidan is very close, but where do you believe you will be taking inspiration for your future works? Maidan cannot be supported forever at this very high level. Uh, we've seen that uh, immediately after Maidan, there was this big outburst and during Maidan itself. But now in, in the country, we have new parliament. We have the war in the East, the anti-terrorist operation. What could become an inspiration for you? I see, Gennady, that you want to say something. You've mentioned that and the new parliament will not inspire us, that's for sure. Unfortunately, uh, the events, uh, what's happening in the country will not leave uh, any artist indifferent. I cannot say that this can inspire uh, that it's like a traditional inspiration, like from a landscape or a beautiful uh, woman. But these processes, they impact, and they have very serious impact. Maybe the guys will not say anything now, but every one of them feels uh, 
in these processes. And for us, that is definitely will be reacting to that uh, in an artistic way. But it's important uh, uh, that uh, politicians and just the public reacts and uh, listens to artists uh, before they see some tragic events on TV where most of people get uh, emotions from. And what do you believe? Do Ukrainians listen to artists? Unfortunately, very little. Can you make any forecast? I believe that they've been always listening. Well, maybe 1% of people were listening, but these people, from them, there's a reaction going to a wider masses. But that percentage, and I believe my colleagues will support me, uh, that uh, uh, could be even less than 1%, but that's, that is uh, the percentage which will in the future listen to us. Any other questions from you? Once you have no questions, thank you. It's been interesting to learn about your autistic projects, and we will organize more events, uh, and we'll be happy to hear about some other projects of artists. And good luck to you and inspiration.